In this second Query Builder video, we'll be looking at some of the result manipulation and chart configuration options available in the Query Builder. Starting from a simple column chart, I'm going to open the result manipulation drawer by clicking here. And in this case, I wish to apply a value descending sort, as well as selecting the top five values. I will apply, and the query will update accordingly. Using this grid, let's look at some other kinds of result manipulation. I can apply a measure filter. So, just display the results within my desired range. I can also apply a result path calculation. That's to say, show a percent of total, difference, percent of difference, percent running total. Here, let's do a percent of difference on columns based on the previous element. And here we can see the result manipulation in action. Sticking with this grid, let's now look at some of the chart configuration options. By clicking here, I can open up the styles drawer. Firstly, in the chart section, I can change the text style or header style, header visibility, put measures on rows, show row number, allow wrapping of text, or fit to content, and then in terms of each of the different columns, I can choose whether or not they're visible, and I can even display an arrow on my columns to indicate whether the value is positive or negative. Going back to our column chart, let's apply some more chart configuration. Firstly, we could choose to show the grid, change colors, and even change the displayed values. Firstly, let's show them, and then add a shorthand format. Finally, in this line chart, let's modify some of the axis properties. Here, I'm going to modify the x-axis title and truncate the x-axis labels. As for my y-axis, I can take off the shared axis option. That way, when using a row selector, the scale will modify itself accordingly for the minimum and maximum values for that series. Here, you've seen just a fraction of the over 500 different customization points available for the 16 different visualization types in BIME.